Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and today's video is going to be a what's in my carry-on bag long haul fly edition. If you couldn't tell by the mini ears, I'm going to Florida. Me and my boyfriend Harvey, we're staying in Disney World in Florida in two weeks. We are flying from London Heathrow into Orlando International and I am so excited. I cannot wait to be on a plane again but it's good to be prepared. So I've come prepared and I'm going to show you everything that's in my carry-on bag. So let's just get on into the video. Okay, so in my notes, I kind of planned out everything that I'm going to be taking with me in sections. So the first section is electronics. So I will go through the electronics that I'm taking with me first. So an obvious one is my phone. Of course, I'm going to be taking my phone with me. On my phone as well, I've got downloaded the Heathrow app and the Virgin Atlantic app. We are flying with Virgin. So I've, I've got those downloaded on my phone, ready for online check-in, just so I'm just extra prepared on my phone for, for the airport. I'm also bringing my iPad with me. I am well aware that on the Virgin flights, because it's a 10-hour flight, I'm aware they're going to have like the tvs on the back of the seats but it's just in case they don't have any films that i will like to watch on there they probably will but i'm that person that is going to be sitting there the entire time just watching the like where the plane is at all times just like traveling i probably was not a good explanation at all but i'm sure you guys know what i mean when i say that so i need something else to watch entertainment on so i've got my ipad with me i've got the second season of the kardashians to watch so i'm gonna download that on my ipad and probably watch that that's on disney plus i'm pretty sure so i will download that i'll probably download a disney film as well just to get me excited my favorite disney film is tangled uh, rapunzel is my favorite princess i do love ariel as well so i'll probably download um the little mermaid and tangled and obviously i think there's wi-fi on the plane as well so um, I've got like an online colouring app that I can play on here as well as I do love Heyday as well so I'll probably play some Heyday if I can. I will also be bringing my Nintendo Switch with me. I love this thing. I got it back in November, I believe, November 2022 and I've loved it ever since. I mean the only game I'm playing on it at the moment is Disney Dreamlight Valley. I'm not just taking it like this, don't worry, I do have a case for it, just this black one from Amazon that I got. I can guarantee I will be listening to music on the plane. Music is like my safe haven, I love it. But because it's 10 hours, I have got two different types of headphones to bring with me, just in case one of them gets a little annoying. So I've got my AirPods here. These are the AirPod Pros, yeah the Apple Pros um, that go like in your ears but I know after a while they might start to like fall out or um, they might feel uncomfortable so I've also got my Beats with me as well which are like over like over the ear headphones um, so I've got those as well in case either one gets like uncomfortable and then obviously because I'm bringing that many electronics I do have all my cables and chargers don't worry I'm not putting, putting them in the bag like this I will organize it somehow I do have my apple watch as well to bring if I need to charge anything I do have my portable charger with me so the next thing I have is my handy dandy little emergency kit here i've always used it as my little like feminine bag I have checked my period app i use flow as my period app and it does say towards the end of the holiday i may start my period so i've got plenty of pads in here uh, but it's good to just have pads anyway just in case anything happens because you never know um i've got spare underwear spare socks um some hair bands hand cream lip balm hand sanitizer, a little mirror. That's all for in there. I still need to go and buy some paracetamol and plasters just in case of any blisters or if we have any headaches and things. So I do still need to go get some of those. And also, I also want to get some anti-back wipes and some tissues just so I can wipe down the plain seat tray. So I just know it's clean then. Just tissues in case we need to blow our nose or just anything like that. Just so, just so we're, pre we're prepared and we've got everything. But I am also bringing with me a eye mask. Our flight is a day flight, so I will be wearing makeup to the airport. On the way out there, not so much if I've got my makeup on, but on the way back, it is a night flight. So I probably will wanna wear this if I want to sleep. Although I'm that kind of person, I just can't sleep on, on transport. I don't know why, I, ca I can never sleep in the car. I can never sleep on a plane or a train or anything. You know, it's always good to have anyway. And I also have my keys as well, 
and just a little tangle teaser hairbrush in case I want to brush my hair. The next category is just going to be random bits, just like random essentials that I think I will need. The obvious one is a neck pillow. I got this one from Primark if you're interested. Um, I got it quite recently so um, this should still be in there if you want to go pick it up as well. It's a memory foam one and it's this like lilac-y colour, it's so pretty. It's also got this like clip at the bottom so it can clip around um, your like carry-on bag and everything. At the end I will show you my carry-on bag and then my airport outfit as well. If my feet get cold I do have a pair of fluffy socks with me. These ones are cute, they're just like cream and beige and they're just like a little zebra print. Um, yeah, I've got those just in case my feet are cold or I just want that extra comfort. The next thing is, obviously, I'm wearing them now, my mini ears. I will be bringing these with me on my carry-on. I just feel like it'll be nice to just wear, like, our ears when we're off the plane. And I've got my mini ears and I picked these ears up for my boyfriend. I know they're sparkly, but I'm going to force him to wear them because they're just so cute. Oh, wrong way around. He's obsessed with Stitch, so these are from Primark as well, and they're actually part of the new Disney 100 collection at Primark, so if you haven't seen that yet, do go in there, they've got some amazing bits for their Disney 100 collection. Again, just so I can be that extra bit excited, I'm gonna bring my Disneyland Minnie Mouse with me. The last time I went to Disney, it was Disneyland Paris, and I'm pretty sure it's when I was like seven years old, so over a decade ago, which is a long time, but I've always kept this little mini plush that I got when we went there, so I'm bringing this with me just to bring back those memories. I got this notebook for my birthday, and I thought, what not a better way to use it than bring it on the plane. You never know, I might get some good YouTube ideas. Just just anything I want to note down or if I want to journal anything then taking this is good. I've got this Disney colouring book as well. I actually haven't started colouring this in yet um, which is really bad because I got it quite a long time ago but it's just got lots of different it's got lots of different like Disney Disney things to colour in. I'm also bringing this Florida brochure. I got this free off of attraction tickets and you can too if you go to their website and search for freebies you can get this and it's amazing i have read through it already but i feel like just to get me excited it will be really nice to just flick through it on the plane it's got lots of different like information about what you can do in florida uh disney hotels disney rides universal just everything like that so it's good to just kind of make myself more knowledgeable on the plane even though i have read it already but just to make sure it's all locked in there. And I've got some pens, some colouring pens and highlighters just for my colouring book or if I want to write in my notebook as well. And then last but not least, I'm bringing a reading book with me. I'm currently reading Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. Um, I just thought it would be good to be reading Harry Potter because obviously we're going to Universal Studios as well when we're out there and they've got all like the Harry Potter area. So I feel like this will get me really excited if I'm reading this on the way to Florida. And then I've also got my glasses with me. I've got this pouch that I'm bringing with me. It's DKNY. But I'm just using this pouch as a like document holder. So obviously my passport's in here. I will be printing out all my documents this week and they will be going in here. So printing out my ESTA, my COVID pass, um, flight documents, uh, boarding passes, um, hotel documents, just any like documents that I feel like I'd be more comfortable if I had them printed out in, they will be going in here. Um, I also have my, all my like bank stuff in here, so all my bank cards, cash, my post office travel card as well. If you don't know what that is, you can download the post office app on your phone and you can order a multi-currency card and that's what me and my boyfriend have done. We both order multi-currency cards. It's very easy, you just upload it onto the app and then your normal bank account you can transfer money over but it will be in whatever currency you want it to be in instead of obviously the current currency so i've i've already transferred 50 pounds into the account because that's the minimum amount you have to unload onto it when you order the card um and i'm pretty sure it's like 58 dollars or around 60 dollars or something like that so i've already got that on the multi currency card so if you are going to america anytime soon or just anywhere having that is a very good idea it just saves having those transaction fees then and yeah i just rather not have to spend more than i need to on unnecessary things so we've got those instead 
That is everything that's going in my carry-on bag though. If you watched my previous video, you will know that I was struggling between two bags. I was struggling between this like slouchy tote bag and it like zips up and everything and I also have my Disney bag. I also got this in Primark as part of the Disney 100 collection. Yeah I was deciding between that bag and this one and I still haven't decided. I don't know this one's good because it's massive and I feel like the amount of stuff I'm taking this will probably I reckon I'll I reckon I'll be taking this one because it's the only one that's probably gonna fit all my electronics and everything in it. I highly doubt this bag is gonna fit all this in it so it'll probably be this one I go for. Let me know in the comments which one you think I should go for I'm really not sure um, but even if I go for this bag though I'm still bringing this one as a park bag so don't worry I will still be bringing my lovely Disney one. And now on to my airport outfit. So for my airport outfit I will be wearing these flared leggings. These are so comfy I love them and also because they've got the flare at the bottom if I get too hot or anything then it will let some air in and obviously I've got my fluffy socks if I do get too cold so I feel like it's the per per perfect thing to wear. These are the Social Tourist Collection on Hollister. These have got like a v-waist on them so they make you look amazing. I'll either be wearing this that I've got on now on top of that or this hoodie that I've got. Um, I'm not sure yet. This zips up so again if I get too hot I can like zip it and it'll let some air in. But I don't know whether to bring the hoodie instead. I'm not too sure. I'm still undecided on that. I will be wearing a kind of like crop top or some sort of t-shirt underneath anyway. So that's fine. And then for my shoes, I'll be wearing my New Balance 530s. I love them so much. They're so comfy and they look so cute. I'm pretty sure if you're watching this, you know what shoes I'm on about. So they're like the, the white and navy ones. They're so nice. And then I will be wearing my Zara gilet as well. A gilet is a really good idea, I think. Obviously, I won't need to bring a coat out there because it's really hot. But I feel like a gilet is such a good idea because it means I won't be too hot when I'm walking around the airport. But it also gives me that extra warmth because it is cold in the UK at the moment. Yeah, that is my airport outfit. And yeah, I think that is everything. That is everything that's going to be in my carry-on, my airport outfit. And yeah, just undecided on the bag, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe if you wanna see more Florida content, it is coming your way. But yeah, I am so excited to go to Florida. I, I can't even tell you how just like grateful I am that I'm getting to go. Um, it just feels like such an achievement for me because I've dreamt about it for years and years and I feel like my childhood dream is finally coming true. And the fact that I'm going with my boyfriend as well, it's our first like, adult solo trip together. I'm 19 by the way if you didn't know so it is like my first like overseas trip um, as an adult so it is a very very special time and I'm so excited. Yeah I love you guys and I will see you in the next one. Bye! I just realised the entire time I filmed that video I had the tag sticking out of my mini ears. Oh my god, that's so embarrassing. I am so sorry. I only kept the tag on because I'm going to be doing a pre-Disney haul post. So that's the only reason I kept the tag on, but it looks so bad in the video. I'm so sorry.